Riding a motorcycle, that doesn't really uh, interest me. Anybody can go out and buy a motorcycle, but a uh, chopper, you build it, you're riding it, you're showing your artwork everywhere you go. I know how old I am, but my subconscious don't know. 27 is what I feel like I am most of the time. Some days I feel like I'm 127. My name is Tomas Jerome Fugal, but better known as Tom. <laughs> My name is Jenny DeCora, and I'm Tom Fugel's old lady. Friend, companion, nurse, bitch. <laughs> Basically all of that, and and his lover, you know. This chopper he's building now, he's building it for Born Free Six. It's already blowing minds. You know, it's like you're either born with it or you're not. You know, I don't know why, but you either got that talent or you don't have it. I mean, you know, you can show somebody how to use a paintbrush, but you can't teach them how to paint a picture. The fact that I had to fucking get this bike done, I, I, I just kept working on this because, because I, I wanted to keep my word on that I was going to be there, and I knew it, what I had to do. It's got the uh, duck tail back no center post, the oil tanks in, in, in the fender, and uh, uh, the colors are my new uh, paint that I invented. It's uh, called uh, it's called iridescent multispectral, and uh, it took me a while to remember that name. <laughs> When you tell Tom he can't do something, he's going to show you he can, and he's going to find a way. He engineers things to make them work. The stubbornness gives him that drive, but at the same time, it can set him back. He's dedicating and sacrificing his own well-being for, for this show. Sometimes he hopes he he's going to be able to finish it. And I said, what do you mean by that? You're not trying to say you're going to die, are you? And he goes, some days he feels like it. And I even told him that, you know, fuck that bike, it ain't that important. I'd rather have you than the bike. But to him, he'd rather show the world his talent. He didn't really realize what people think of his work or his style. I'm like, wow, look, there's pictures of you in Japan. I mean, Italy, Australia, Sweden. And they started showing him what he is, that he's a legend. I seen the sparkle in his eye and his spirit came back. It made me feel like I didn't waste my whole life doing something that would be forgotten. Mike and I to go to Moon Eyes Japan this year. Woo!